As a singer or student of singing, does breathing from the diaphragm feel unnatural to you? Here's a video mashup about breathing from the diaphragm. Inside, you'll get extra help understanding and using diaphragmatic breathing for singing. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. Take a look at this video mashup and get some real help breathing from the diaphragm. Your lungs usually expand and contract in two main ways. One is an unconscious downward and upward movement of a thin muscle called the diaphragm, which separates the chest from the belly. We breathe in or inhale when the diaphragm contracts. This pulls the lower part of the lungs downward. When we breathe out or exhale, the diaphragm and lungs relax and return to their resting positions. Deep belly breathing aids the diaphragm muscle movement by expanding and contracting the abdomen, the area below the diaphragm. This allows the belly muscles to push stomach and diaphragm up. <sighs> breathing makes you feel better. So diaphragmatic breathing will help relax the muscles, help relax the neck, and get proper oxygen throughout the whole body. It can, diaphragmatic breathing relaxes the muscles of the neck and of the shoulders. It can even be shown to lower blood pressure and heart rate. We all, let's just breathe. At this point, I want you to think which hand or hands is moving. You should feel that your stomach is moving when you take a deep breath in through your nose. Notice again that it's only my stomach moving, not my chest. So once you've mastered the lying down diaphragmatic breathing technique, the next progression is sitting up. You're going to take that deep breath in through your nose, make it all the way down into your belly, make your belly expand, deflate your belly, and exhale through your mouth. And that is diaphragmatic breathing. So your diaphragm, it's parachute-like, I'll uh, post a picture up, and you're, it's going up and down, up and down. Take deep breaths. I breathe in through my nose. Sometimes I close my eyes or just take deep breaths. As far as the diaphragmatic breath goes, um, per our last post we talked about, when you breathe in, um, the abdomen, the uh, diaphragm actually moves down and the, and the stomach actually protrudes upwards. And that's the effect that you want to get when you do a, a full, complete diaphragmatic breath. Okay, so let's have um, Heather do this just to show you guys. And then relax. Okay, and then again. All the way up, so you can see, rising here. What you don't want to have happen, as the post talks about, is you don't want to have any shoulder shrugging. You don't want to have any sort of muscle contractions occurring through here because people will, will use all these accessory muscles to help take a deep breath, which it's, it's improper. It's an improper breath. It actually facilitates and um, um, perpetuates the whole stress reaction. People that are in stress have a lot of you know muscle um, issues up top. Okay, they a lot of tightness, a lot of pain syndromes of so trapezius, neck headaches, you know things like that, and that can all be as a consequence of improper breathing. Have you ever watched a baby breathe? They breathe so gentle, so non-forceful, so easy. They breathe from their stomach instead of their chest like we do as adults. The tension, the anxiety, and the stresses that we live in day to day affect our breathing. So one tip, two tips you can do. If you put two fingers on your clavicle, right, and you bring your chest up, just that thing right there, that little shift, 
is allowing so much more oxygen entering to enter your lungs. Second thing I want to show you is breathing. This thing right here has changed the way uh, I run now massively. But before I show you that, I want to show you how to breathe correctly and slay down the foundation of how to breathe properly. Because most people don't think about this. So, now if you notice that your, your, your hand, your chest expanded, you are breathing too shallow. You're not allowing as much oxygen to enter your lungs. So what you want to get into the habit of is breathing through your diaphragm, right down here, your, your belly. Okay. So how do you do that? It's very simple. If you put a hand on your, one hand on your belly, and imagine there's a, a balloon in your stomach, right? And as you take a deep breath in through your nose, as you inhale, imagine the, the balloon is expanding, kind of like this. And then as you exhale, you want to allow the, be the, the balloon to deflate. Very simple process. Talk about breathing from the diaphragm. How's this? At about 10,000 feet. That's the way you do it when you're singing. 